Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. Well folks, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, then please remember to click the like button. And also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Right, let's get on with the video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be fitting an accessories tray that I bought from evanex.com or evannex.com. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But anyway, I'm gonna be fitting it in. They shipped it across really quickly to me, which was great. And what it is here, let me show you. It's a tray with some compartments. And what it's gonna do is fit in the cubby hole that I have down here. So everything could in theory just roll around in there, although it's got a, a cover on there but what I wanted was somewhere that I could put little bits and pieces because I've got this big tray down the middle, which is fairly standard on, on these, these Teslas, the Model S is at this age. More recent ones have a big unit in the middle there with cup holder and, and things, but I quite like the fact that it's got this big tray that's accessible and I'm gonna be able to put bags or, or whatever in there to stop them from sliding around, but, I did want somewhere where I could put the little bits and pieces. So it's got a vegan leather finish to the front, soft linings in there, so it should help protect the uh, bits and pieces I have in there. They'll ever next call it a cubby compartment, a unique pull-out drawer which fits into the cubby. They say it provides a sleek, clean look to your, keep your small belongings hidden from view, available in a vegan leather finish. They also did a black finish, but it wasn't available. Usually ships next business day. I think it shipped the same business day for me. And it costs, well, they have a, a sale on at the moment and it was $59.95, so $60. But one thing you need to take into account is adding on the import tax. So I bought quite a few things, including a car cover and other bits, which I'll cover in another episode. And I ended up paying um, quite a bit in tax to get it through. DHL shipped it so quickly, it was really quick. I was amazed how quickly it turned up, but I did have to pay out quite a bit in uh, import tax to get it in. Um, but they seemed to be the best items that I could find, so um, I, I went for some quality bits, so I was happy with that. Let's have a look at fitting this in then. So it's gonna go in the cubby compartment underneath, and in theory, it should just slide in to there and stay fairly snug. Yeah, it's quite a good fit on either side. Um, in theory, it's supposed to stay there when you're accelerating quickly. And then it's just a pull out drawer, which obviously won't, doesn't have anything to retain it. So you need to make sure that it is held or it will stay in position there if I've dropped it down a bit, but it's not a drawer that's gonna stay in place all the time. The idea with this being is that I thought I'd be able to keep um, a pen, some coins, so things like the trolley coins, that sort of thing, and also my sunglasses are gonna go in there and put that back in place. So that's a nice little snug fit there for my bits and pieces. Yeah, that is the Evanex cubby compartment, very good. Pleased with that. Of course, I need to double check to see whether it's uh, still in place when I'm uh, accelerating, but I, I'm sure that'll be fine. But I will double check and uh, and let you know. Yeah, the other thing was that the cubby didn't come out during the journey. I didn't accelerate quickly, but um, it was in nice and secure. I think it'll be fine. So that's it, folks. That's a recommended item from evanx.com, their cubby compartment for the Tesla Model S. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, folks. If you did, then please, Click the like button, it's much appreciated. And of course, if you haven't done so already, then subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be loading up more videos about my experience with the Tesla Model S. Also click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, thanks for watching folks. Until next time, bye.